Good morning. Welcome to New Mercies Every Morning. And uh, we're going to try something different today. Today we're on cell phone data instead of Wi-Fi. And outside where we should have a better cell connection. So we'll see if this works today. Um, and we're going to start out with uh, another nice song from the End Times collection. Number 514. The bridegroom soon will call us. Probably going to wish I'd saved this for uh, the uh, Ten Virgins Ten Virgins parable coming up, but uh, there's probably other ones for that. Number 514. The bridegroom soon will call us, come to the wedding feast, may slumber not. Matthew 24, verse 32, Jesus is speaking. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. So people make this complicated because they point to the, this generation will not uh, pass away until all these things take place. And... Uh, they try to doubt the words of Jesus by that very phrase, which the next phrase he's saying, my words will never pass away. And uh, an interesting twist there. Um, this generation, the, the people before him, in their lifetime, all these signs would be there. Right? Uh, the, these signs of wars and rumors of wars and all the things, you know, the earth in turmoil. Uh, those signs would all be there. And these are, those were and these are the, the times of the end. And they, they were to be prepared and the people a hundred years later were to be prepared and the people in the Middle Ages were to be prepared and the people in the Renaissance and the Industrial Revolution were to be prepared and we in the space age and the digital age 
are to be prepared because we see these signs. That it's funny. I mean, insurance companies can tell you this and you believe it. But God tells you this and... Well, I don't know. Things just keep going on like they always did. Peter references this. Oh, everything just keeps going on as it always has and it's always going to. And he says, oh, no. No, God is not slow in keeping his promises as some people count slowness. Um, no, all these signs are there and you see them and you remark on them. And yet you live as though that were not the case. We live at, my, me too, obsessed with the things of the day. Oh, what am I going to do with this? And of course, you have to be practical, but we get tied up in this world. And instead, if we remembered every day, hey, all these signs are there. And, and the Lord desires me to be ready at any moment for him to come. One, one thing I would say that we've done is that we have always been... Uh, we have not always been what people would call worldly wise in the use of our, you know, financial planning and all that. But we have always been prepared to say, well, whatever the Lord provides or, or wherever the Lord leads. So uh, we're going to do this. But if the Lord opens this door, there we go. And... and that's a that's an alien concept. I've complained to you guys before about how when we were considering a decision, a decision on a call, a decision on retirement, and we say, we want you to pray for us as we're praying for, for this decision. Everybody thinks the decision's already made and we already know. And, and we do not. Uh, and I pray that you do not, that you, that you don't know what's next because you are always prepared for the Lord to do something else because God has done remarkable things, surprising things in our life, and I know he has in yours. Being ready. Being, you see all the signs there. So you know he's near, he's at the gates. He hasn't come in yet. But Jesus says, his words will never pass away. Heaven and earth and the United States of America, and uh, all the all the things that seem eternal to you, that well, that's always going to be this way, right? Even the things you know are not eternal. Well, we have this house, and we're going to live here, but we're going to die. Someone else is going to live in that house not all that long from now. I mean, we're in our 60s. Uh, in 30 years, who will be living there? I don't know. All these things will pass away. But Jesus' words, listen to those. Jesus' words will not pass away. He says, he's at the door. Come, Lord Jesus. <laughs> we pray it, Lord, very often our, at our dinner tables. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest. Oh, Lord. Let us never pray that without remembering, without, without listening for a moment at the door. You are at the gate, ready to come. And we pray, Lord, that you would come. Uh, we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Lord, we pray it with all our hearts today. You know the condition of our world. All the signs are fulfilled. Lord Jesus, come. Amen. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. And thank the Lord that we had internet today. <laughs> All right. God's blessings.